drawing blood. Hey, Nobolche, I have something exciting to tell you about, but you must keep it a secret just between us scribes. Zoe gives you a wink and pulls out a large toe. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> my mind is so dirty. Why <laughs> is my mind so dirty? <sighs> Oh, this is the Bloodbound Ledger. Inscribe your name and it allows you to learn how to craft blood contracts, which can hurt a little bit, but are absolutely worth it. I currently know one of them and I get so excited when I use it, cuz... Well, you'll see. So what do you say, interested? Very well, then. Bloodbound Ledger signs. Hmm, interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll sign it. Little bit of blood magic, you know, nothing wrong with that. Very good. Pleased to meet you. Uh, let me see. Yes, everything looks in order and it appears the spell has already taken effect on you. You're now able to learn how to craft the deadly, eerily hunting blood contracts. Ooh. Zoe puts on some theatrics as she says the last part. Ha <laughs> ha, just messing with ya. <laughs> but seriously, these things can be pretty dangerous. There are blood scribe masters all over the place who will teach you what you need to know. The first master I'd recommend seeking out is Krona. She's a bit eccentric, to say the least. One of the few Trotolan who've experienced a thing or two. She is the one who taught me the blood contract I know how to invoke. She likes to hang out at Smuggler's Cove on the western coast of Drasvar. Oh, and could you say hi for me when you see her? Off and away. Ooh. All right. Admittingly, I never noticed that you were such a blood wielder. That's pretty awesome. I smell cabbages. Not you, but something around here. Say, how's your penmanship? Would you like a lesson? I'm a master scribe. Cronus eyes you up and down merrily. Say, ah, would you, young one? Crona appears inside your mouth. Nice teeth you have there, which fetch a fine price. But that's not really what you're here for, is it? No, you're one of those who think they can handle the trials of the blood contracts, aren't you? Very well. Oh, my back is killing me. Your trials await you in the books on either side of me. Cho choose whichever you like. Oh, that's kind of cool. As you open the book, you stare at a blank page, waiting for something to happen. Instinctively, you flip to the next page, only to find the blank as well. Perhaps your trial awaits you further into the book. Learn the craft blood contract bloodshed. As you peer inside the tome, you find a verse appear glowing bright red. For blood to bond, one strikes a deal, a sacrifice which will appeal. Seek out the lame and never yield, for in return you shall be healed. As you finish reading the verse, you notice that the scroll has appeared in your hand. Written across the top, it's titled, Writs of Sacrifice. Various runes unknown to you appear on the rest of the scroll, yet there's no explanation as to what to do with the scroll. Sacrifice... I'm gonna go into the book. Turn a few more pages. Thumb through the entire book. Look through the entire book, every page appears to be empty. Frustrated, you glance over at Krona and wonder if she knows that... God damn it, Bliss. <laughs> okay. It is about the journey, not Why the destination. Why is the Bloodshed Companion blank? Knowledge is power. But it's simple, dear. Your own story has to Avoid be written into the book. The page on the book appear to be blank. I look forward to reading up the events you encounter. Just pull out one of your pens and begin writing. Don't worry, the book will do the rest. Oh, sick. As my hand got close to the book, it began to write all on its own. At the moment the hero's pen touched the empty parchment, something began to stir within the pages. She could feel her very essence being pulled into the book. The hero's vision began to fade. And as the refocused, she found herself in a strange chamber. Suddenly a voice filled the hero's mind, and in a lyrical tone it recited a poem. What spills from pen and spills from vein, intermingled here within. Beware the jet, collect the crimson, and your bloodbound slayer shall be arisen. Pause your story and leave the book. Alright, this is kinda cool. Nice reuse of the stockades.
Oh boy. Get him, Artie. Oh, uh, I just need to kill 12, yeah? I was like, I need to fill up something and avoid it so it might, you know, get hit and... It will... Oh, the book actually follows me as well. How cute. Why do you have a circle around you? The vicious ones were beginning to be quite a nuisance for the hero. And then... Can't I just ride down and then we won? Or... And then Marker showed up? The red slug just seemed to have what the hero was looking for, and it wouldn't be too long till she had enough. Oh, Marcus. As the hero entered the chamber, a larger version of the creature she'd been fighting stood before her. Perhaps this was the trial she was here to complete? Huh. But I'm a hunter, though. I kind of pulled it already. Like, seriously. My, my choices are... I could use barb shot. I got camera shot on cooldown. And then I just kind of used the thingy. Alright. Once enough ink had been collected, the hero felt a strange pull towards the back of the prison. <gasps> As the hero stepped into the room, she saw four runes spread out on the floor. This must be what the ink was for. Oh boy, it seems to energize itself. Wait, wait, I can click this. Oh, I could click it a minute ago. Alright. You should go survival. Yeah, but I don't want to play another melee though. It's not bad, at least stuff dies. Kind of cool. Alright, final rune. Now let's see what we do. I really like this profession quest. The ritual completes. A creature coalesced before the hero. Oh no. It finished forming and cried out with his newfound life. It caught the hero's eyes and peered inside his mind, filling it with the knowledge she needed to summon it. Her trial complete, the hero finished the last stroke of her story and returned to the warmth of the sun. Be prepared for a chance of a lifetime. Be prepared for sensational news. You're thinking I it. do so enjoy a good scroll. What am I supposed to do with the writ of sacrifice? Uh, leaving so soon? Uh, but I was just starting a great story. For that trial, you need to find a wounded creature and heal it. Of course, it will cost you your own life force to do so. I'd recommend look at the east. There are some rather ferocious yetis around Alpine Rise who like to make her meals of the deer there. Perhaps you'll find some that are still able to be saved. Uh, right. Buy the book. I trust you to be careful inside the bloodshed compendium. I don't want to be far to find any ripped pages from the weapon you wield. You've done well, young one. I recall a gnome not too long ago completing that trial as well. Her story was quite to read, but between you and me, a gnome smell like porridge. Krona looks off into the distance, lost in thought for a moment. But now you are but you are now a bearer of the bloodshed contract, and one step close to your final prize, Krona quirks a grin at you and goes back about her knowledge business. Knowledge is power. Except stupid knowledge. Summons an avatar of bloodshed to fight by your side while outdoors for four hours. That's kind of cool. Yeah, no. Uh, I don't know why I'm killing Chill and Yetis, by the way. I'm supposed to help these guys out. There you go. Yeah, this is cool, though. Look, it's I'm Gul'dan. See that? I bring them back to life with my own life. I do so enjoy a good scroll. I see you've completed a trial. Krona takes the writ from your hand and plays it on the tome. It slowly begins to melt within the tome, and in a burst of light, it vanishes. You've done well and are now imprinted for all time with the Contract of Sacrifice. 
Now, on some more important matters. What do you think of Murloc Brain Soup? I find it delightful and would love a guest to accompany me for serving it. For a serving of it, even. Lines in the sand. This was all I had to offer you, young scribe, but your journey is not yet at an end. If you are up for some more traveling and interested in it, some of the deadlier blood contracts, you're going to have to travel to Zandalar. Once there, seek out Sephrak by the name of Veris in the area known as Voldun. Krona grabs an odd-looking jar and opens it. The foulest odor you've ever smelled emanates from it, and you really disgust. Pickled crocolis is X are my favorites. Would you like some? Oh, my back is killing. I see you are, you are a fellow scribe. Perhaps you seek further knowledge. I also have supplies in case you're running low. Ah, new initiates. Were you wondering how I knew? Because of the blood on your hands, of course. A sly grin crosses over the Sephrak's face. I'm Veris, the resident keeper of the Zandalar blood contracts. If you wish to inscribe your name into them, there is something I must ask of you first. When the Faithless came to power, we devoted fled our sacred temple and took shelter here. However, in the midst of our exodus, many of us were forced to abandon some of our belongings. I myself left a tome that is used to learn the Oblivion contracts. If you wish to perceive the trials, you must retrieve the book. I trust you won't disappoint me. Uh, we did a fair chunk of the professional quest lines yesterday on stream. And this fine morning, the very next day, I decided to finish it up on my own. I just picked up the quest item from the Temple of Sophralis. Let's see what they want. Booking on a favor. I'll admit, I'm a bit embarrassed to have left it behind. An oversight that I still regret to this day. A Tome of Oblivion. Here you go. I'm relieved you're able to retrieve it. Thank you. Your trials now await you. Peer into the tomes and obtain the knowledge that you seek. As you open the book, you turn each page and see portraits of champions standing alongside a large beast. Eventually, you come to a blank portrait and touch the page. Runes begin to appear in an ancient language and quickly translate into words you can read. The creature within, a guardian of men, a mixture of blood and of bone inked with pen. The blood from the scribe, the bone from the land, milled to perfection and signed by the hand. Collect bones from the pirates and mill them into fine powder. Mix the powder with your blood to create a vial of Ossian ink. Then sign the Bloodguard Chronicles. As you open the book, a sudden chill comes over you. You shake the sensation off as you read the verse. A fatal bargain in blood is struck. One inks their pledge with strokes of luck. Stay true to your lines. Keep still your breath. Lest you stray too far and summon death. As you finish reading the incantation, a quill appears next to the book. All right, uh, pick up the quill and begin your trial. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Oh God. Okay. So I'm going to imagine, like, for science' sake, if I stray too far, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Uh, nope. I'm still just a quill. <laughs> Quest line is called Brush with Death, by the way. Just putting it out there. And then we sign it over here. Who doesn't like a good rune quest? A uh, little bit more to the center. There you go. Little droplets of blood. I mustn't tell lies. Yeah. Is that enough? You want more? Oh, you want more in the middle, don't you? Hang on. Uh, yeah. Is that enough? Maybe. How about this? Maybe. How about this? There you go. Second rune drawn. Oh, God. All right. It's... Is it taking my life, by the way? <gasps> it is! Look on the top left, you can actually see my life dropping. That's cool. So I am actually signing it with my own blood. Nice touch. Just gonna make a little Mickey Mouse up in there. This looks like a good spot to find some ingredients. Sora! A lucky emblem! My god, Goofy. It appears to be written in blood. That is what happens when you sign up with the Disney Corporation. Just, you know, make a deal with Satan. 
I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to fill up some air here as we're, we're drawing these amazing runes. You know, as you do. Ready for turn in, Cuckoo. Uh, yeah. Brush with death. Well done, young blood scribe. You can now invoke the Oblivion Contracts. It lets you summon a creature that, well, let's just say, his bite is bigger than his bark. He likes to prey on creatures that are on the verge of death, yourself included if you're not too careful. Learn to craft the following items, which will allow you to summon a creature while outdoors. Crimson ink, distilled water, summon an avatar oblivion to fight by your side. I need to make one of these and just check them out. Oblivion definitely has my interest. Alright. And the other one was Zemlin Pirates, which is over there. How about you? Will you be so kind? Yeah, you are. Okay. Uh, mill the bones into dust. Do I have milling on my thingy? No, I removed milling from my thingy. There we go. Mill the bones into dust. I hope it's not going to say, like, inventory full. Uh, let's get rid of this. Now, where did you put the bones? There they are. What? Oh, I just could right-click it, of course. How silly of me. Uh, combine the dust with your blood to produce a vial of ocean ink. And sign the Bloodguard Chronicles, which is the book back at the base, I imagine. Signed, the Bloodguards. You would think with all the blood you have to give up for these trials that you would be white as a ghost at the end of them. Or maybe just passed out for a week. You've been accepted, it appears. Varus motions to the book. You glance over and see an image of yourself posed alongside a grey beast. Your signature glistening at the top of the page. You may now invoke the contract of the blood guards. Be mindful of uh, the guardian's life, though. If it gets too low, it may look as you as potential fuel. That is so cool. It appears you are finished here. Thank you again for getting my book back. But between you and I, this was the easy part. Just wait till you meet the Grand Master. If you haven't noticed already, you'll need a special quill to invoke those contracts, and he'll be the one who shows you how to craft it. His name is Miju, and he lives out on the island of the southern coast of Zuldazar. Good luck. Alrighty, so we are at Miju's retreat. Oh, the Tortolan. Is this one also gonna have, like, the massive blood model? It doesn't look like it, huh? Grandmaster Bloodscribe. Step closer and don't mumble. Well, you certainly traveled far to visit me, young one. I have several novels on the history of crabs, if that's something that piques your interest. What is this then? Another novice come to learn the ways of bloodscribing? Very well. For which contract do you need a quill? You explain to Miju that you've learned all four contracts and need a quill to invoke all of them. All four? Oh my, it's been... Let's see here. Miju begins mumbling to himself. Too long, I suppose, but yes, I still know the recipe. Your trial awaits you then. The recipe you're after, young one, is that of a sanguine feather quill of Lanafell. I. Lanafell? As in Blood Queen Lanafell? Cool. Mishu mo motions to a pile of stuff. Uh, I'm the only other person I know of who has one uh, somewhere. But be warned, this trial may be your undoing. I shall have to invoke all four contracts against you. You must defeat each of the creatures, and from each one learn the rune needed to carve into your quill. Once you've learned all four runes, your trial shall be completed. Not everything in the ocean is as good-looking or nice-mannered as I am. All right, cool. So at least we get to see Greetings, the beast now. sir and or ma'am. I am ready to begin the Fine, trial. Fine, leave. I was done talking to you anyway. Oh, so that's what the signs are for. I remember seeing this during beta and I was like, is that an overwatch symbol? What is going on here? But this is what the island is for. Oh. Very interesting. As soon as all four runes have been activated, the trial will begin. You may choose the order in which to defeat each avatar. Good luck, young one. Alright, so he's dropping some delicious blood on each of them. Alright. And Blood Queen Lanafell is the Queen of the Sand Lane. You might remember fighting her in Ice Crown Citadel. A Blood Elf turned into a vampire by the Lich King. Not like the other vampires that we saw in Legion, of course. Uh, Avatar of the Blood Guards. I 
I thought that they were going to be more, I don't know, La Beast-esque, but they just appear to be based on dinosaur models. I know one of them is going to be like a hyena, because we've seen it in the book. Avatar of Oblivion. Oh, okay. Neat. So I wonder if we could just party with the blood trolls and be like, Hey, fellow blood wielders, how y'all doing? So if, if we killed the Alliance General, well, we, we more so killed her because she was allied to the blood trolls, not so much of the powers that she wielded, huh? And I guess just lore-wise, in general, ooh, what are you? Oh, you're the hyena, right. I knew that. And in general, lore-wise, people, if you're using these powers, they'll be like, Hey, what are you doing? Why are you draining my blood? Please don't do that. Oh my god, I am dying. Somebody call the guards. And then the Overwatch symbol. Yes, I saw Overwatch in that symbol. Don't, don't judge me. And this is... Okay. Interesting models. Have to admit, but I like it. This quest line was very nice. Like, lore-wise, it has some nice hints. Mechanically-wise, I would definitely put this on the number two. It, it's just very hard to beat the infinite dragonfly, ain't it? But this one, definitely worth the go-pro. Alright, Mr. Miju, I've done it. I've seen things that would scare you shellless. Well done, young scribe. Well done indeed. You have the knowledge now. It's up in there. Mishu tries to poke you in the head, but you back away just in time. You're quick. Probably how you succeeded in the trial. I now present you with the final knowledge you need to craft your quill. Okay, goodbye. A sanguine feather quill of Lanafel. Come back with some better stories. Now that you have means to invoke those contracts, there is one last thing to know. You can only have one of them active at any given time. Invoking more than that would probably kill you. Allows for the creation of blood contracts, and you can use it to cipher the blood of the dead around you, restoring your own health in the process. It was never known if Lanafel was the original designer of the quill, or merely the inspiration behind its design. <laughs> Neat. This is definitely one that has piqued my interest. I don't know how good the blood contracts are, I imagine a little guardian, yeah, it might be nice, a nice little thing to have. But that self-heal is kind of awesome, though. Imagine that's going to be disabled on PvP, though. But this is the inscription questline.